Hey, this is Mr. Willis, and I'm going to show you how to use the Explore panel. A great way to do some research and add things like pictures when you're working in Google Slides. So uh, you'll see I'm doing this little animal slideshow, and I made a slide, started to make a slide about aardvarks, and I just wrote off the top of my head that aardvarks are awesome, but I should probably actually look something up about aardvarks if I'm going to do this properly. So let's do that. The way we'd find the Explore panel is look down in the bottom corner of your screen. You'll see it looks like a little speech bubble with kind of a star in it. You can click on that to bring up the Explore panel. If you want, you can also click on the word Tools up here, and you'll see that same symbol it brings up the same thing. Uh, once you have done that, there is a little search button that appears at the very top of the Explore panel. All you need to do is click in there and type in what it is that you're looking for. So I'm looking for a ARD Vark, and you'll notice that oftentimes Google's going to figure out what you're spelling, and so if it does, you can click on it. Otherwise, just finish your spelling and push the Enter key. So, uh, this Explore panel is going to give you basically three options. Web is where we want to go if we're looking up some facts. So, um, I can roll down here. You'll see there's different websites. As always, when you're checking out websites, uh, be wary of the source. You know, like this one says, it's the Wikipedia article. Yeah, there's a lot of pretty good information on Wikipedia, but anyone can edit it. It's probably not the best place to cite as your source. Uh, this one here says it's from National Geographic. That might be a better source. Uh, with any of these links here, if you want to check it out and investigate it further, you can just click on it and notice that it opens in a new tab. So if I click back on my slideshow tab here, I'm back looking at my slideshow. If I'm on this tab, I'm looking at the actual article that I clicked on. And there's a nice little picture of an aardvark. I've got some information like, oh, it's, it's common name, it's scientific name, the fact that it's a mammal, average lifespan, size, height, um, some more information about the aardvark. For aardvark. So I'm going to find some good stuff in here. Okay, uh, fun tip, remember you always have copy paste as an option on certain things. So if I want to just copy over the scientific name, I can highlight, right click, copy, go back here, right click. Now there's two options here. I could just paste. Notice how it's still kind of how the text looks different. Or what I often like to do is this one, paste without formatting, and you see how it matches the rest of my text on my slideshow. It just makes everything look nicer. Okay. Um, another neat thing, and I don't know if you'll always have to do this on a project, but I think it's a cool feature worth showing. When you're using this Explore panel, for any of these websites that, that appear over here, I can actually click and drag them onto the slideshow. So watch this. I'm going to take this Aardvark website, click, drag it over, and drop it onto my slide. And you'll see it kind of put it down in the corner here. But basically what this does is it just makes a nice little, and I don't need all that empty space, so I'm going to shrink up that empty space because we really don't need it. Um, but it just makes a nice little link to the website where I got my information. That's always a good idea because why should you trust Mr. Willis? I've never even owned an aardvark. I don't know if I've ever actually ever interacted with an aardvark at all, but the people writing National Geographic have. So that tells me this is I have a source for my information. Now along with uh, research, you can also find pictures directly here in the research in the Explore panel. So you'll see I switched to images. Lots of cool pictures to choose from. With any one of these pictures, if I want to use it, I can just click on it, and it'll show me a larger version. If I don't like it, hit the little back arrow to go back to all my other pictures. If I decide that I do like it, just hit the blue button, and it's going to insert my picture right there into the slide. Of course, it made it really big, so I'm going to shrink it down so it's not covering everything up, and, and I'll have to figure out, you know, just to make sure that... Uh, it's not covering up my words and that sort of stuff. One other cool thing, when we add pictures from this Explore panel, notice how whenever I click on the picture, it gives me a link to where this picture came from, which is just always a good thing. Let us know where your information came from. If it came from, if it turns out it came from a not very good source, we might not want to use it. Okay? Uh, so there's the Explore panel. Hopefully you find that useful and put some good research into anything that you create.